Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Fishing the South. Um, today on the show, I'm just going to go over my um, tackle box, my terminal, uh, hard baits, crank baits, um, spinner baits, um, swim baits, all that stuff. And so this is my tackle box. I use an Academy Sports and Outdoors tackle box. Two side pockets and the front pocket holds four dividers. And so my first divider right here, I'm going to go over, is my terminal. I'm going to open this up. And so right there in that first pocket right here, I have um, screw locks, swim bait hooks, and one frog hook. Um, yeah, and then I have some flick shakes. I had more. I just lost them on fish and stuff. Um, got my Gatsu Red offset hooks. And here I got an assortment of bullet weights and stuff. Uh, one bluegill hook. I'm pretty low on those. I need to restock. Um, just some bobbers. A shaky head. I have some more. They're just rigged up right now on certain baits. Um, catfish, saltwater hooks. These are the trocar heavy flipping, heavy cover hooks. Sorry. Some swivels. Jig heads. I'm looking in there. Finesse worm, wacky rigging hooks. One egg sinker for Carolina rigs and just catfish fishing. And then some jig heads and stuff like that. So, yeah, this is just your basic terminal. Um, I prefer three aught hooks. Um, you can go smaller, you can go bigger. But yeah, this is just um, what I need for my type of fishing and the fish I catch. So, there's that. Slide that off to the side, go to the next one, which I believe is jigs. I am a uh, buyer off of Tackle House. I really just like their service. Their stuff is just well put out. So first, I'm going to go over here. I got some Z-Man chatter baits. First Z-Man is 516 ounce, kind of curled up there. Put that off to the side. So another one right here. Um, 516th again, really good. Kind of like a darker shad with some blue and stuff. And then I got one more. This one's three eighths. Really good. It has that trailer. The trailer that usually comes with the smaller packages. It's right there. And then I have um, four. These are my four Bobcat Bumpkin Jigs. So my first one right here is an Okeechobee Craw. Really nice color. Um, watermelon Candy. These are all great colors for um, flipping and to mats and just stuff. Black, black and blue. Football head jigs again. And then like a craw color. Some orange and brown. And then my one strike king football head jig. And I have a little critter craw trailer on there. It fits perfectly with this jig. Watermelon candy, I believe. It just fits perfectly. Put that back in there. And then my one finesse jig. Missouri Craw Colored. Put that back in there a little better. Okay, and then I got some Oxycura Jigs, Green Pumpkin. That was one fourth. And then I think this one is three eighths. It's like um, pumpkin, Green Pumpkin with some blue in there and stuff. And I got two Swim Jigs. I'm going to take these out. Here's the first one. Looks really nice. They're both, these are both striking. And then I have a trailer on this one. That's one of those seven inch um, power worm tails. Those things just spin like crazy in the water. So these are my two swim jigs. Haven't really stocked up on those. Just got two simple ones. If I lose one, I can put on the other one. And then I got some trailers, some bitsy chunks for my bitsy flips and bitsy bugs. There's watermelon brown and orange kind of color and then a blue and black with one brown and orange in there. Okay, there's that. It's a bitsy bug jig and um, an orange and like a tan kind of color. Another bitsy flip with just a little trailer I found. Or actually, I didn't find that. That's the top of a brush hog. Okeechobee brush hog. I tore it in half. And so I use that. It looks kind of like a craw. So it's another bitsy bug. And I got two bitsy flips in here. One of them has a net bait trailer on it. This one, it's like a craw, orange or brown. Really great, really great quality. My bad. And then camouflage. Those are my my jigs again and trailers. Put these back in there. I really like jigs. 
got a lot of fish in the past on them. Use them a lot. Next thing, pink baits, poppers, and jerk baits. Everything like and and frogs. Sorry, I forgot about my frogs. So Mangler, they're my sponsor now. Great, great company. This is their like six inch deep diving crankbait. Really, really pretty colors. Really great. And this is their four inch crankbait. Looks more like a jerk bait to me though. So just Mangler stuff. It's the cheapest prices. And it's good stuff. I mean, I've caught several fish, this H2 Express rod. And just again, Mangler, super cheap. Here, I'm just going to skip over their crankbaits real quick. These are two of their crankbaits. Uh, each one of these crankbaits is $2 a piece. This one's like a silver with black dots. That one's redhead with white body. Uh, just great, just great stuff. And so, yeah, I'm just going to go back over here. So I got three red eye shad. There they are. Two Mangler again. Mangler, great stuff. Mini crankbaits. That's their, like, frog-colored one. And then, here, let me put that down. And then they're like blue, kind of hieroglyphic redhead. Really great stuff. And then I have two mans. Mans Waker, it says right there. Big, big fat crankbait. And then another smaller one. There you go. And then two other crankbaits. So I got a bandit, bandit sorry. Uh, foot, uh, I think it's a foot loose square bill. And then a Bomber 4A, blue, orange, oops, great colors, and then some poppers, these are both Mangler, there's my Mangler, like, kind of hieroglyphic shine, and then blue, black back, and so I got these two, this Bomber Square A crankbait, really good, it has some rusted out hooks, I need to change those, and like a little crappie and bluegill crankbait. Sorry about that. Okay, that's that. Not a big hard bait fisherman, but for what I have, I do fish it every now and then. So yeah, and then I might go over to swim baits, spinner baits, buzz baits, and light spinners, all that type of stuff. Here we are. So I'm gonna start with the swim baits over here. So I have two. Actually, I have several types of swim baits, but this is my main two. A uh, Berkeley hollow body. Great swim bait. I think it's three inches. For four, four, they were just out of stock at the time. Put that down right there. And then net bait. I rigged this up with a four out hook. You should probably go four or five. Anything bigger. Screw lock. Uh, this is a net bait. Um, five incher. Kind of shad color. And I have one little guy in here. This guy's for bluegill. It's a little cricket kind of thing. But the rest of these are the same thing. I'll put those back. So then I got my Mangler. These guys, Mangler, the guy who works, or is the, the main guy that works with his, works with his product. He's so generous. Um, I wasn't expecting uh, much of any tackle at all. And he was real nice about it and sent me 14 good lures. And, um, yeah, he was, he's just a really cool guy. Um, there you go. There's three of them. I have two more in here. Like a fire tiger color there, and then a pink and white. Just, just really good quality swim baits. They have four inch swim baits that look amazing. Five inches that look, if not better, as pretty good. And then he has all of his crank baits. He has a one of a kind squiddy that I'm about to get to. And so yeah, he's just a really cool guy, really nice. And then I have some Berkeley blade dancers in here. Let me get one of those out. It's just like. A minnow with a kind of a, a blade that just makes it go like this. Just here, where it go? It just twitches like crazy. It goes. It's a great swim bait. And so now I got my spinner baits. I like spinner baits. Haven't been able to fish them much in my channel because it's winter, and usually when I fish spinner baits, I like to burn them. I'm not a big slow rolling them. That's my custom spinner bait. Was a booyah. But then the blade fell off, fell off as you see, and I just custom got made that spinner, uh, that skirt. So, and so, yeah, move that other one. 
And I got my Strike King. A pretty bigger spinner bait. I haven't caught anything on this one yet. Um, but I'm still trying. He has a lot of shine to him. Next one is my Terminator. Oklahoma Blade. Uh, this is like a blue shad skirt. Uh, Terminator, my first Terminator. Haven't had a chance to fish any of these yet, so. And then a Booyah. He has an uh, orange Colorado and a chartreuse willow. And then another Booyah white. So this is all my spinner baits. Put those up in a second. So I'm going to go over to my buzz baits and light spinners. This is my only buzz bait. I need to get more. I love fishing them. I haven't caught anything on them yet. Non clatter, just a Strike King black one. Looks really small. Is really small. An extra blade right there. And then the squiddies. One of a kind. Not many things like this on the market right now. So here's the blue and silver one he sent me. These things are really cool. Right when they touch the water, they start to spin. Black back, kind of reddish in the middle, white belly. And then he sent me one more in the mustard type color kind of thing. I think I have some blue flint on there or something like that. But yeah, it's mustard. Yellow and then like this reddish cool colored stuff and then white to a lemon almost. But yeah, my three squiddies he sent me, sorry, really like them, have caught fish on the blue one, haven't been able to catch any fish on these this year, but I'll be um, fishing them in the flats and when, spawns come, when spawn comes, and so, yeah, so let me put these up real quick, and then there's a shot of my five spinner baits, put these up here. And I don't have anything special for these spinner baits. I just load them in like that. Blades on one side, skirts on the other. And they work just perfectly fine like that. And so, four dividers full of stuff. Might need to get a new tackle box soon. And so, yeah. And I want to talk about what I have in my little pockets. So, in this front pocket, let me get this open real quick. I'll just open it halfway. So I got some Costas. Really recommend these eyeglasses for their polarized. Kind of expensive, but they're worth it. If it's windy outside or muddy and you need a pair of polarized glasses, these are the ones to get. A little bit pricey again, but if you have the money, go out and get them. And then I have just line clippers. Nothing real special. Okay, so put these back real quick. So here I just have extra dividers, or extra divider clips, my bad. And then on this side, nothing real special again line um i am looking into getting a different type of line p line is great i um prefer p line floor clear um, i have that on my bait caster that i'm going to be doing a video on later or actually maybe be doing a video later on my plastics and rods and reels and quinn's tackle will be up in a few days and so yeah um this is my tackle um again line I prefer P line, Sun line, something that Fishing Midwest usually fishes. That's all that he fishes. I'm going to be getting some of that um, just to try it out. I'll probably be getting one of the brands that he recommended in his video. And so thanks for watching. Again, a video coming up on plastics and rods and reels. Um, yeah, so comment, rate, subscribe. Um, thanks for watching.